But uh, obviously, there's been changes to the short-term lets uh, in Scotland. What is it? What's happened? The Scottish Government has, after a five-year discussion, decided to pass legislation that means that any short-term let will now have to apply for a short-term let licence. So that originally looked like it was going to encompass um, our colleagues over at Airbnb, but has now actually encompassed every single self-catering operator, every single bed and breakfast, some guest houses, everybody that's got a glamping pod and so on and so forth. So it's become a huge thing for an enormous amount of the tourism sector in Scotland. And how is that a good impact on the tourism sector? It's going to have an incredibly detrimental impact on the tourism sector, whatever anybody tells you to the otherwise. Um, for small tourism, for small accommodation providers in Scotland, this is going to have the most damaging impact. For small tourism accommodation providers that do not have a huge profit margin, just the simple point of having to pay a, a, a fractionally large licence fee when they don't need to do so is going to be horrific absolutely horrific we don't need to do it for those people that are on non-domestic rates for those people that already comply with the existing health and safety legislation this is just an unnecessary business expense at a time when we're still trying to recover from the pandemic and we're all faced with huge hikes in in all sorts of other business costs including utilities staffing cleaning costs and so on it is an unnecessary cost and it's one cost that the scottish government had the ability to stop, but they chose not to.